Drake, Director of Bands at Queen Anne's County High School. This year we've had a very successful year with all facets of our program. We've had uh, two students that represented us very well in the All-State Band. We had 10 students that represented Queen Anne's County High School very well in the All-Shore Band. We had a large group of students that represented us well at the District Solon Ensemble Festival and are getting ready to go to the State Solon Ensemble Festival. Our concert band received a superior rating at the District Band Festival and an excellent rating at the State Band Festival. Our symphonic band received a superior rating at our District Band Festival as well as the State Band Festival and both of those ensembles went on to participate in the Music in the Parks uh, Festival this past weekend and received a superior rating at both of those festivals as well. The marching band had an outstanding season last fall and has done very well uh, this spring and is getting ready to wrap things up for the year. So we've had an outstanding year here at Queen Anne's County High School. Brian Sedalis, Stevensville Middle School. Uh, it was a great year. A strong 8th grade group who's going up to Ken Island High School next year. Uh, big 6th grade group coming up. Uh, lots to build on with the 6th and 7th and seventh graders. Um, looking forward to it. It's a great year. Hey, my name's Heather Fullerton. I'm the band director at Setterville Middle School, and we've been having a great year. Um, successful parades, uh, successful performance at District Band Festival, great turnout for the Junior All Shore Band, and also a great turnout for our district solo and ensemble, and even some representatives going to the state solo and ensemble festival. May I have your attention, please? Good evening. Thank you all for attending tonight. It's really wonderful to have you all here our first Superintendent's Band Recognition Night. I would like to recognize that we are so very grateful to have the attendance of all of our students, our parents, our teachers, our band instructors, our principals, Ms. Paul, Mr. Paluski, and our Board of Education members here tonight to pay homage to your students. Thank you for joining us to celebrate the accomplishment of those students who earned a superior or excellent at the Maryland District 5 North Solo and Ensemble Festival in February, as well as the commitment of Queen Anne's County Band instructors who so well prepared those students for success. Beyond the intrinsic value of music to cultures, world, cultures worldwide, education and music has benefits for young people that transcend the domain. The Arts Education Partnership reviewed an extensive body of research to identify high-quality, evidence-based studies that document student learning outcomes associated with an education in and through music. The results show conclusively that music education equips students with the foundational abilities to learn, to achieve in other core academic subjects and to develop capacities, skills, and knowledge essential for lifelong success. Again, thank you for coming together tonight to celebrate your children's successes and to support the vital work that our band instructors provide. And without further ado, now some comments from your, um, the interim superintendent, Mr. Greg Kaluski. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the very first superintendent band recognition event in the history of Queen Anne's County Public Schools. You know, a few months ago I was out visiting schools and I'm always amazed when I'm in the classroom and I watch what kids do on a daily basis. And I came back and there was a particular day that I came back and, and I had been in numerous uh, various uh, visual performing arts uh, classroom, and I came back and I asked Mrs. Alley, do we ever, do we have an event in which we can recognize our students in the performing arts? And she said, Mr. Bluski, we've never done that before. I said, great, so when is the event going to be scheduled? So that brings us here tonight to have our very first uh, superintendent recognition, and that's how tonight was born. Tonight is about placing high value on the arts and the passion, the dedication, the hard work that our students bring to the classroom each and every day that is supported by our parents, by our guardians, our families, our teachers, and our communities. By placing a high value on the arts, I believe that there are 10 ways in which the arts are important 
for every child. Number one, creativity. Arts allows kids to express themselves, sometimes often either better than math or science. If a child has practiced thinking creatively, it will come naturally to them now and in their future career. Number two, improved academic performance. The, art, the arts just don't develop a child's creativity. They develop the skills that learn because and they'll help them spill over in other academic areas. According to PBS, young people who participate regularly in the arts, three hours a day or three hours even in a week throughout a full year, are four times more likely to be recognized for academic achievement as well. Number three, motor skills. Children who participate in the arts develop advanced motor skills. Number four, confidence. There is something special about participating in the arts. Getting up on the stage performance gives kids the chance to step outside their comfort zones. As they improve and see their own progress, their self-confidence continues to grow. Number five, visual learning. Performing, playing, instruments, drawing, painting, sculpting, art classes help develop visual spatial skills which are essential in 21st century. Decision making, number six, the art strength and problem solving and critical thinking skills that are essential for viable learning. Number seven, perseverance. The arts can be challenging. Often when a child tries to learn and master an instrument for the very first time, there are many times in which they can be so frightened or frustrated, and through that, they want to quit, but they don't. Simply, perseverance and hard work, as you'll see tonight, pays off. Number eight, focus. As you persevere through your form of art, your focus is imperative, and certain focus is vital for studying learning class, as well as doing a great job later in life. Number nine, collaboration. Many of the arts, such as band and chorus and theater, require kids to work together. They must share the responsibility and compromise to achieve their common goal. Kids learn that their contribution to the group is an integral part of their success. And finally, 10 is accountability, just like collaboration. Kids in the arts learn that they are accountable for their contributions to their group. If they drop the ball or they mess up, as we all do in life, the importance is to take responsibility, as they did. And that's why it's important, and those top 10 reasons why the arts are important, and tonight we celebrate that. In summary, to our students, don't stop your love of your art form. Embrace it, cultivate it, and most importantly, continue to share it. I thank you for being leaders in your school, and thank you for being leaders in your community. Our school system, our entire community, is better because of your gift of sharing your art form with us. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations, and let's honor our talented students this evening. Thank you. At this time, I'm going to review with you how this is going to happen, just so that it helps us to get up there smoothly and exit, and everybody gets their little chance to shine. Um, before I start, though, I do want to thank a, a few people who are the supporters this evening. That would be Mr. Jeff Street over there. He is taking this in a video format, and it will be on Channel 7, so that you can always TiVo it and tape it for future reference. Geneva Harrison, who is down there, who provided the certificates for us tonight and is taking the pictures, and she will be able to share those with you so that you can get pictures of your children's bands and their band instructor. And Miss Kimberly Adams, who is over here, she is my right and left hand, um, and she has been the organizer of so many of the things, the invitations, and all those wonderful things that without which we would not have it like tonight. So, as you can see, other bands, you can see Queen Anne's County High School band is standing over there because after they've come up, we're going to call you to stand up in alphabetical order over there. So they are kind of showing us the way. So, we will, at this time, call up the band instructor, Mr. Wright, and the principal, Ms. Amy Huda, to come up. I have a 
wonderful speaking voice, and I'm sure by this time you're convinced of that too. <laughs> However, I really think that Mr. Wright would probably be the better one to say these things, so I'm going to be the very functional form of microphone holder today, so that his voice will project out there. <laughs> and then after they've done that, they will walk over here, they will shake the hands, they will come over here, and at which time our dignitaries from the board will stand up and shake their hands, and then I'm modeling what I'm doing, and then you will come down and you will stand on the step that Ms. Kim tells you to stand on. And then we will all line up, and at the end, Ms. Geneva Harrison will come up take a group picture, and then you guys, I know we all have cameras, you can take your little group pictures, and then at that point, we will dismiss that band to go sit, and when they're seated, we'll call the next band. Did everybody thumbs up if you got that? Yes, you guys are a smart group.
Benjamin Pfeiffer. Elizabeth Sterling. We are going to have Stevensville Middle School's band instructor and principal please join us on stage. I'm going to use the mic. <laughs> Katie Hain. Uh, Mr. Demby cannot be here tonight. There are a few students who could not be here as well, but we do want to recognize those students who could because their accomplishment is just as great. Well, if Mr. Wright did not need the microphone, nor do I. <laughs> uh, first of all, I'd like to thank all of the musicians here tonight and congratulate you on receiving superior and excellent ratings. Uh, really big accomplishment. And Mr. Wright, uh, I'm very pleased to be sending a good group of students your way the Queen Anne's County High School Marching Lions. Um, I, I think they're going to be great additions to your band, sir. Two of them here tonight. I'd like to recognize uh, in eighth grade, heading your way next year, Miss Alexandria Embert. And in sixth grade, Sophie Moen. They may be coming, they are competing 
at this point, so we're going to try to get here. So at the end of the evening, if we don't end up with Madam Peak Middle and talking about their accomplishments, that would be why. Or they're very, very shy. We can't figure out much more. Okay, at this time, we are going to have Stevensville Middle School's band instructor and principal please join us on stage. Katie Hain. <laughs> Alexia Kelly. <laughs> Callie Mammoth. And though she couldn't be here tonight, Candace Miller. This time, will the principal and band instructor from Centerville Middle School please join us on the stage? I also want to congratulate everybody that's here and tell you that Centerville Middle School is really proud to host this uh, festival for everyone. We had uh, students from 16 <coughs> different schools from multiple counties come and join us in Cayenne County schools out by far outnumbered all the other counties. So we really love that the arts are alive in Cayenne County. Kaylin Kocher. <laughs> William George. Alex Holtzman. Lindsay Jones. Rachel Noah. <laughs> Brett Pfeiffer. <laughs> Aiden Spencer. Ethan Tool, Robert Turner, Audrey Weevil, Colin Williams.
Gavin Wright. Victoria Zhang. Veronica Zhang. The results show conclusively that music education equips students with the foundational abilities to learn, to achieve in other core academic subjects, and to develop the capacities, skills, and knowledge essential for lifelong success. Again, thank you for coming together tonight to celebrate your children's successes and to support the vital work that our band instructors provide. And without further ado, now some comments from um, the interim superintendent, Mr. Greg Kalewski. Our last recognition of the night is going to be presented by Mr. John Lishner, who is the principal of Mattapete Middle School. like to thank you so much for coming to our evening. Actually, it is not our evening, it is your evening, students. One last round of applause for all the students.
Thank you.